All right, we're back, right? So, looking at TMZ, huh. right? Check this out, Madonna. This is the article from TMZ. Check this out, right? Burnt. I already see stuff with this, right? Madonna. I have antibodies, so I'm going to breathe in COVID-19 air. Huh. <laughs> All right, watch this now. Check this out, right? Good so, using, <laughs> using dates on the calendar... And, you know, numerology and this code of letters and numbers known as gamatria. A is 1, B is 2, you know, all the way to Z is 26. And then, you know, numerology, you know. And then reverse alphabet. And reverse alphabet with the rules of numerology. Anyways, using this code and dates on the calendar, we're going to look at the story that TMZ posted, you know, today. And, uh... I see something interesting already, so check this out, right? So, quarantine diary. Now, look at this, right? 78 and 93. So, if you watched my last video, I explained all about 93. You know how corona equals crown in Spanish and the crown of the sun and, you know, all this symbol, uh, symbolic stuff, you know, symbology with uh, the sun and the crown and, you know, the crown of the sun and all that stuff. Anyways... In 78. So check this out, right? If you watched my last video, you know that Wuhan coronavirus equals 93 and 78. And that article, Stop Complaining, equals 78. And World Economic Forum equals 93. So we're tracking that. Walter Elias Disney equals 93 in single reduction. So that article from TMZ with him promoting or his company promoting, you know, custom face masks with the character on there. The whole event 201 thing, you know. Um, so that's that. And I found it interesting that uh, her quarantine diary has that uh, overlap with um, those words. So let's look at this a little closer. Ooh, get closer, baby. Huh? Madonna. Oops. Oops, forget. So, we can look at a few things. We can look at her birthday, right? Because I'm pretty sure measuring from her birthday to this article release there's something there so just bear with me here bear with me here okay so madonna when was she born 58 august 16th hmm let's open up another date calculator here so you guys can see this Okay, so her birthday is August 16th. So August 16th. Hmm, some interesting numbers already. Her last birthday was 2019. Hmm, 63, 36. Huh, pandemic equals 43. Huh. That's interesting. 137 days left in the year. The 33rd prime number. <laughs> Alright, so that was her last year's birthday. Hmm. That's interesting. Measuring from today's news to her upcoming birthday is a span of 107 days. 107 is the 28th prime number. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Virus equals 26. Let's see. Madonna, 26. Hmm. Madonna equals 26 in 37. Kind of like how virus equals 26 in 37. Okay. Hmm. Same thing with disease. 
Well, disease is 26. 46. Plague, 26, 28. So you see all, all these numbers kind of like sync up. 62. <laughs> Madonna equals 62. This is burnt. 64 date numerology. 63 date numerology. So that's interesting. So 63, 64. I mean, I guess you could include the end date, and it would change things up. 153 is the 17th triangular number. That's interesting. 15 weeks, 3 days, 153. No. 153, just to show on the screen here. Oops, 151, 153 is, is the 17th triangular number. So her birthday this year... Has, you know, 17 to 8 numerology. Huh. That's the 50th prime. 229. That's the 50th prime. Hmm. What else do we see here? Anything interesting? Anything interesting? Huh. 19, like COVID-19. 19, 19 to 8 numerology for her upcoming birthday. Huh. Interesting stuff here. So the article, oddly enough, says she has antibodies. So let's just like take this and paste it in the gematria calculator. Let's just see. There's always something to it. Two sixty looks like twenty six. 831. Is it a prime number? It's not. Let's look at this. Huh. Interesting. Madonna. I have antibodies. Huh. 389, the 77th prime. Hmm. One oh six does look like sixteen, right? And she was born on August sixteenth. Okay. Huh? Unreal. Ninety seven is the twenty fifth prime. No twenty fives. Hmm. They could have written the story yesterday. I don't think there's 25s in it, though. No. There isn't any. But what is interesting is, you know, today's May 1st and her birthday's the 16th. So, you know, simple math. 16 plus 1 is 17. So, you know, we're talking about 17. You know, it's not that far-fetched. Huh. Look at her birthday numerology for this year. 26. Today's May 1st, 5 plus 1 plus 20, 26. All right, let's see. 25. Let's erase her name. I have antibodies. 71 is the 20th prime. Hmm. Ninety one's like the thirteen triangular number. Hmm. It's interesting. It's like how these articles come out because look, even if they wrote the story yesterday, April thirtieth. You know, even her birthday, August 16, 30 plus 16 is 46, like virus. So it's, it is it is pretty interesting, like, to see, you know, stuff like that sync up. It's, it is pretty wild. The alignments made. I don't know if they're done purposely or if it's just coincidental, but it doesn't seem like it's coincidental. There's a 28 again. Yep, 
Huh, 136, 130, not 130, wow, 163, the 38th prime number, right? 38th prime number, so I'm going to breathe in COVID-19 here equals 163, which is the 38th prime number, and why is that important? Because pandemic equals 38, right? Hmm. Unbelievable, unbelievable, would you believe it? Do you believe it? You want to see a monster? Hold on. I'm recording this. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> 61 years old. It's strange. 1958. I don't know. There could be something to that. 1958? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There's probably something to it. 101 is the 26th prime. So, sh so 1958, her birthday, has primary date numerology of 101, which is the 26th prime. Virus is 26. Pandemic, 38. We're talking about 28. That's where the 28. See, all right. 107 is the 28th prime. Huh, interesting. 37, like virus. 73. Huh. Yesterday had 74 date numerology, but again, I wouldn't be surprised if they wrote it April 29th. 73 date numerology, 37, you got the 19, you got the 17, you got the 33. Because look, 137 is the 33rd prime. I mean, it would make sense if they did it that way, but you know, who's this? Who's to really say? But I think that's what's going on. They're writing the stories a day or two in advance and they're matching it correctly. And you know, they release it to the public and a lot of people eat it up like fucking... You know, like candy. So, there's that part. And then, you know, you got this shit. You know, she's going to breathe in COVID-19 air. <laughs> what a ridiculous story. Look, Facebook, 3.3 thousand likes, I guess, or shares. When she's born on the 130, uh, a day that leaves 137 days left in the year. 137. Hmm. <laughs> Unreal. We are the glitch in the matrix. <laughs> that she tested positive for coronavirus antibodies. Tested positive for coronavirus antibodies. So we'll look at that and then we can take a few words away and just see what it equals if there is anything to it. 48, 183. No, that's nothing. Okay, that's nothing. 231. Is the 21st prime number. I mean, a triangular number. I don't think, though, there's anything to that here. So, no, there isn't that I can see here. Huh. All right, let's see. Coronavirus antibodies, 100, huh? 100. That's that's pretty interesting, right? 100. 100, huh? I think, if I'm not mistaken, from her last birthday, 2019, to today's news, right? Am I seeing that right? No, I'm not seeing it right. Okay. I thought I was seeing that right. Well, maybe. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think I'm seeing that right. Am I not? All right. I'm not seeing that right. I thought I was seeing that right. I guess not. Guess again. Guess again. 
All right, so never mind. I was going to make a point about something, but never mind. 253, 22nd triangular number. And there is no 22s. Hmm. 122, huh? Hmm. Well, there could be other ciphers in, at play too here. So if you really want to get a, a little radical, you could click these other ciphers. So something might definitely match up. Well, 110, that's interesting because look at the date, you know? Measuring from today's news to her upcoming birthday, Primary date numerology today is 46. 5 plus 1 plus 20 plus 20 is 46. Her birthday, 8 plus 16 plus 20 plus 20 is 64. Add those two numbers together, you get what? 110. There you go. There you go. In Latin slash Jewish uh, reduction, you get 110. That's interesting to see. 255, huh? Hmm. Two fifty-five. Again, one sixty-three is the thirty-eighth prime number. Thirty-eight. We've been talking about thirty-eight. English extended. Um, you know, sixteen oh three looks like one sixty-three. Reverse full reduction. You know. What she said, I'm so I'm gonna breathe in COVID nineteen air one sixty three. Okay, just you. I don't know. Hmm. One fifty nine. Hmm. Stories about antibodies. Hmm. 64, huh? Her birthday this year has 64 date numerology. So that's pretty interesting. Antibodies equals 64. Hmm. Forty nine. Hmm. But either way, you know, it's just it just seems like it's bullshit. Breathe in the COVID nineteen. Hmm. I don't know, man. Two oh six like virus, twenty six. Let's see, is this a prime number? Nope. 96, hmm. 113, hmm, the 30th prime number. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's crazy. So that phrase, holy shit. All right, so <laughs> breathe in co the COVID-19 air has a Jewish Latin value of 1229. 1229 is the 201st prime number. And if you've been paying attention, event 201, you know, all the stuff down here, you know, event 201. Global pandemic exercise. That's wild. 201, huh? 
Now, we would have never seen that if we didn't have those ciphers open. So sometimes, you know, they're important to have open. And, uh, you know, you can't really worry about if people think it's a stretch. 241st prime number, the 53rd prime number, which is the 16th prime number. 53, huh? Did we see 53 somewhere? Yep, see, if they wrote the story two days ago, 4 plus 29 plus 20 is 53. Reflection, 35. Now, I don't know if that's exactly what's happening, but it's interesting to see that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, she's saying she's going to breathe in the air and create some sort of, well, it doesn't say it in the article, but, you know, is she going to pull another Tom Hanks, you know, have a vaccine, give donate her blood or something? So, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, the numbers do match and, uh, you know, what it all means, I don't know. It seems like one big sick joke. So, there's that. And, uh, you know, I'll leave it there because, you know, you can find a million different things. A hundred, sending a hundred thousand surgical masks to jails. In prisons. Let's just see what that is before I end this. End it. Four forty-one. Hmm. The square root of twenty-one. We've seen, I think, twenty-one somewhere. One fifty-three. Seventeenth. Huh. Interesting. That is interesting. 50, 560, like 56, you know, all the 56s, rubber gloves, breathing masks, coronavirus 56, you know, mind control, toilet paper, all the 56s. Oh, what else is 56? You know what? 199 is the 46th prime, like virus equals 46. 84. That could be significant. I'm not sure though. 326. That could be significant. I don't know though. I don't know. 490. It's 1 o'clock. 95th prime. Hmm. There could be some 95s down here somewhere. Logged in. 95, 59, 59, the 17th prime. I mean, there's, there's different ways to look at it. You know, it's, again, it's all about perception. But. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, this is how uh, they write the news. But to get back to the 56 part, right, before I get too distracted, what else equals 56? Isn't the guy who's promoting all this stuff with uh, the vaccines and all, isn't his name Anthony Fossey, which equals 56, 137, like how she's born on the 137th uh, day, leaving 137 days? You know, it's just like, again and again, the numbers pop up. And it's almost, it seems like it's almost irrefutable. You can't really debunk it. I mean, you, you might be able to, but I don't I don't see how you could. 557 is the 102nd prime number, a reflection of 201. So we see that, and we have the 201st prime number. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Well, 61 is the 18th prime. No 18s, huh? No, sir. That's all right. Today's May 1st. It has primary date numerology of 10. 5 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 gives you 10. 5 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 gives you 8. So there's your 18. 10 plus 8 is 18. That could be a little bit of a reach, but it's still pretty cool, man. It's still pretty cool, man. Uh, what else? What else? I'm trying to blast through this. Oh, again, too distracted here. Uh, 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 uh. 369, huh? Hmm. Nothing there. 117. I've seen that around. I don't know if it's in this particular thing, but. 443. The 86th prime. Hmm. 86. Kind of like 68. 
kind of like kind of like Wuhan 68 hmm? you know COVID-19 86 in people getting rid of them right you know reflection numbers matching it mm-hmm and this is what they do this is what they do unbelievable can i see this all right all right all right oh yeah yeah i did do this already i don't know if i looked at this nope the 438th prime hmm 38 hmm 361 is that anything it's the night it's the square root of 19 so you don't have to count the zeros in numerology so that's how i got 361 and yes well two days ago again like i said you know i think these people are writing the news two days in advance maybe three four who knows so 19 that's what makes a lot of people not believe in the jamachi because you could say oh it was written you know last week and that has 19 and again you know it's you know people like to troll and it's cool but the thing is is like <laughs> disprove it <laughs> do it <laughs> disprove it hundred thousand surgical masks huh let's see what that equals when you take away this Ah, 46 like virus. 91's the 13th prime. Look at this. In Jewish reduction, Latin reduction, 65 like pandemic. Hmm. 199's the 46th prime. There it is again. Can't make it up, but they do. Hmm. 209. 1289's the 209th prime number. 29, huh? I forgot where we've seen 29. Is it in here? I don't even know, dude. 29. Well, 109 is the 29th prime. I think we might have seen 109. I don't know, though. I don't know. And 109 looks like 19. Yeah, I mean, it all ties in. So, I'm going to leave it there because, you know, you can continuously find... A hundred million things, and uh, you know that's just what it is. You know, that's just what it is. Coronavirus relief efforts. Hmm. hmm. Surgical masks equal one fifty three. The seventeenth prime. I mean the seventeenth triangular number. Sixty eight in satanic. Six oh eight. Sixty eight like pandemic. Hmm. 115. 115's interesting. 115. Why is 115 interesting? 360? 2423 2, is 360. 360 could look like 36. COVID 19, 36. But the whole thing with uh, 115 is this whole thing comes from, you know. Secret societies, Masonic orders, whatever you want to call it. So, the Illuminati, the pyramid people. <laughs> and that's that. So, that is that. Uh, 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 I'm just checking this, checking this, checking that. Huh, 349. I'm glad I didn't end the video. 349 is the 70th prime. So coronavirus relief efforts equals 349, which is the 70th prime. Right? Watch how burnt this is, right? Check this out. Take away relief efforts and coronavirus equals 70. <laughs> burnt. Hey. <laughs> Again, 289. The square root of 289 is 17. So we've been seeing all the 17, 17, you know what I mean? So again, you know, 
Oh, wow, check this out. 947 is the 161st prime number. I don't know if we've seen 161. I might have seen it in another story. One sixty. Hmm. No one sixty ones, huh? Hmm. Check down here. Those are like bigger numbers. It doesn't seem like there is a 161. Could have sworn I seen one, but it doesn't matter. Case in point made with the, you know, the 349 and all that. So there's that, and, uh, you know, that's just what it is. I mean, you could use other ciphers, too. You know, you could open up these other ciphers. These seem to be important sometimes with certain things. And, um, you know, Kabbalah where this whole, you know, thing comes from. In the Book of Formation, where God, it states where God created the world by merging the letter with the number with the word. So, you know, there could be a lot to that. There's the 64 again, 46, a reflection in Kabbalah. So, you know, a lot of it's very interesting. It's no secret that, you know, she wears a red, uh, red bracelet on her left hand, practices Kabbalah. A lot of these people believe in that, so... You know, that's what it is. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. See ya.